December 27, 2020, Preview, 2021, The Gatekeepers, Nehemia 7.45. The Gatekeepers, the sons of Shalem, the sons of Adder, the sons of Talman, the sons of Akab, the sons of Hatida, the sons of Shobai, 138, Nehemiah 7.45. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. John 10, 9 through 10. But today, different from our normal worship, I want you to confirm throughout 2020 how God has blessed you and see into the future how God will guide us then. So, what meaning does the gatekeeper have? They are the greeters who first greet and welcome the people that come. They are the first image of that city. When a gatekeeper is falling asleep, that is the image of that city. The people who first greet the guests and the visitors. Thieves can come or external enemies can invade. Also, people who are causing problems can escape through the gate. The people who guard that gate, guarding the city. Jerusalem symbolizes the kingdom of God. Jerusalem is not a physical kingdom of God, but it is supposed to symbolize the kingdom of God. The nation of Israel is supposed to symbolize the kingdom of God. These were the gatekeepers who guard the gates of that city. In order to go into Jerusalem, you have to enter through that gate, a gate by which you enter the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ is the door. Jesus Christ is the door of life. Let's make a promise. We have three missions, but there is a mission priority zero. To meditate on John 10.10 with the pulpit. Maybe the entire chapter of John, or maybe not even the entire chapter, but just a paragraph about the door. But those who enter the Jesus door will receive answers. Are you going to go out into the field? Do not go out through a strange door. Go out from the door of Jesus. We are previewing 2021. How will we receive answers in 2021? It is simple. We enter into a door. So in order for a church to grow and to have commission, we must have a front door. What is more important than a physical door being opened is that a spiritual door must be opened. The gatekeepers who guard that open gate. So let us pray. Our gates will be opened. You are the doors to those of who you evangelize to. The image of the church is presented through you. The image of the gospel is also presented through you. And people get an image of what church is like. We are the guides of the kingdom of God. And may all the new members team receive the answer of the kingdom of God. So this is the last Sunday of 2020. In this chaotic time, God loves us. He protected us. Let us confirm that. Who are my new members of 2020? In the end of this year, let us do a proper accounting. We have a front door, but not just the front doors. The city has side and rear gates. The front doors have to be open, but the back doors have to be closed. What good is a front door that is open to an evangelism movement when everyone leaves through the back door? The church, in order to grow and really have the strength for evangelism, must have the answer of the back door. The system to really fortify those things is our community group system. This is a different concept from an evangelism movement. What is the extent of our church? We are talking about our church community, the district leaders and the community group leaders who are in charge of their district and their communities. You are in charge of the back door. It is a time of seeing in advance. So in the new year, we are going to receive answers to our prayers. Don't just pray for yourselves. How about our districts and community groups get bound together by prayer? If it is just one, it can be broken. But a three-strand cord of prayer cannot be broken. Let us bind all the districts, the community, and the church through the 10-day prayer. Let us not give a foothold to Satan. A church bound strongly together by prayer. 기도하는 교구장, 기도하는 구역장 되기를 바라고요. District leaders, community group leaders, may you be people of prayer. 그 모든 장 맞지 않아도 기도하는 구역이 되기를 바라고요. You have to be a leader. You can be someone of prayer. 세 가족 부의 가장 중요한 사명, 
한 영혼을 위해 기도해야 하는 거예요. The greatest commission of a community group, uh, our new member team, uh, be someone who prays for one soul. 단단한 성이 되어지는 그리스도 언약 교회가 될 것입니다. And Christ Covenant Church will be a strong, fortified. 2021년은 여러분 인생의 최고의 해가 될 것입니다. 2021 will be the greatest year for you. 기도하겠습니다. So let us pray. 아버지 하나님 은혜를 감사를 드립니다. Father God, we give you thanks. 우리를 축복하시니 감사합니다. Thank you for blessing us. 예루살렘 성 같은 하나님 나라의 성에 있게 하시니 감사를 드립니다. God, thank you for allowing us to be in the city of Jerusalem, your kingdom. 하나님 나라의 성을 지킬 수 있는 문지기의 축복을 주시니 감사를 드립니다. God, thank you for giving us a commission of a gatekeeper. 맡은 사명 감당할 수 있도록 힘을 허락하여 주십니다. Give us strength to manage what you have given to us. 무엇보다 기도하게 하시고. And more than that, let us pray. 기도로 단단하게 묶여질 수 있도록 축복하여 주옵소서. Bless us that we be bound strongly together in prayer. 예수 그리스도의 이름으로 기도합니다. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray.